Are there any items in your household that are too hard to get rid of? There are many solutions to this, and one of them is the Feng Shui Method. Last week, the Burlington Public Library held a special presentation called Spring Cleaning, the Feng Shui Approach. So my presentation tonight was, um, was called um, Spring Cleaning, the Feng Shui Approach, and what I talked about was how to use Feng Shui and the energy in your home to help you decide what's important for you to keep, what's important to um, to relinquish in some way, and that everything around you that you put in your home should be something that you love, and that all your belongings um, should be things that enrich you in some way. Julie did not start off her career as a feng shui consultant. I was a school nurse, and we had a um, um, a professional day, and they had all the they sent all the you know all the children were home, but the the um, presenter didn't show up, so they were or said they canceled. So they said, "Oh my goodness, what are we going to do?" Uh, so they had some of the faculty and the staff talk about what it is that they did in their spare time. And one woman got up and talked about how she was learning and practicing feng shui and gave a little handout for us. And we used that in the nurse's office. And I got really fascinated and started to, you know, read more about it and feng shui in my home and then decided to go for a full um, professional certification which I did um, in, um, in Connecticut at the New England School of Feng Shui. Don't worry, you're not the only one with a messy house. I love watching people's faces, the aha moments, and I see throughout the presentation, whenever somebody hears something that I am saying or describing, and then I, I see their face just go, oh, right, that's, that's what's going on in my life, or that's what's going on in my home. And such the, just the positive feedback and, and um, sharing the, what, I, what I know about feng shui. Remember, every house has a story. What I want them to be able to do tonight is to go home and look at what it is that what's the story their home is telling them so hopefully they're they're looking at all the the um, stuff clutter whatever word you want to use around them and saying do I really need that what is what does my home say does my home say that I am a person that you know, has too many things around me. But, you know, when you remove all of this clutter, it really opens the door for lots of other opportunities in your life. And that is the key to all of this, to have a balanced um, and harmonious life. And you do that by looking at what is around you that's supporting you, including all of your things, your stuff. From the Burlington Public Library, I'm Robert Paris for B News Weekly.